Oh, look, the laser pointer. Oh, fun. Where'd you get that? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Welcome back to Building Built Right. This week we've got a pretty focused episode for you. We are watching Maddie work on the first dash mount that we're going to be releasing for GM trucks. A little bit of R&D, some prototyping, that kind of stuff. Check it out. All right guys, so just finished grinding clean this top weight for a dash mount for a 2019 plus GM truck with the normal size screen. We are doing one for the 13.4 inch screen as well. They'll release around the same time. Uh, we're doing two piece designs on both of them so they'll both have a top plate that you're gonna mount all your device holders to. And then they're gonna have a lower bracket. The lower bracket for this guy uh, is sitting on the plasma table right now. Gonna bring it over here, grind it clean pack it up, and then we're gonna go test fit. Let's get into it. All right, what do we think? Well, it's stuck together. That's good, nice, not going anywhere. <laughs> We gotta countersink the top plate for the flathead hardware. Gotcha. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Either with a hand drill or the drill press. The drill press is the right way, but <laughs> hand drill's easier. <laughs> Alright, cool. It would appear that our cheap drill press may be spinning in not such a circular motion. <laughs> I think something might be bent between the chuck and the internals and what's making it spin because this thing is very clearly not spinning straight and it's not the bit. You can hear it too. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said a hand drill. It's the this thing did survive the move. Maybe it didn't, but it looks like it did. <laughs> no, but no. The, this is brutal. Looks like a flower. Oh yeah, they're they're a little they're a little wonky. I have to wear gloves, or someone that watches these videos might yell at me. <laughs> Laser pointer. Oh, fun. Where'd you get that? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're gonna be doing uh, form threads or some type of pressed on thread insert. Gotcha. Like we normally do. Cool. Looks good. Should we get it uh, fitted up? Yeah, we're gonna go grab my truck, pull it inside, pop the dash tray out of it, and uh, we'll see how this thing fits. First, we're gonna go through the Rope Rescue Technician Field Guide, the sixth <laughs> edition from CMC. Oh, nice. Welcome to class, kids. My truck's a mess, so. Yeah, it's not that bad. Sorry. All right, seven millimeter socket, and we're gonna take this thing out. 
All right, we just put on the wide angle so you guys can see everything, and let's get into it. We just put on the wide angle. For those of you who aren't involved in cars, some cars have really, really weird uh, thread types that they use, and especially like these plastic parts. This bolt is an M4.2 by a 1.1 millimeter bolt. What? But it's a screw. Uh, don't don't even start asking me questions. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got the dash tray out. Yeah, I should say that this is only one configuration of this dash. There's an all plastic dash where this tray is molded into this dash. So this isn't actually removable in one version of this, which is part of the complication of this dash mount specifically. Mm. Figuring out how to mount into that. We're gonna come up with a solution for them that probably is similar to Bronco. With the well nuts. That uses well nuts. Yeah. Or some sense. other type of grabbing nut that they can slide in and under the plastic. The contours of the dash mount, the top plate itself though, they look good. They look like Yeah, I'm gonna out. grab a couple of bolts to pop through here. Nice, looks good. Yeah. Very cool. That's a lot of real estate too. There's so much room for device holders. Yeah, and I like, like as someone who is in this truck and uses it every day, I do like having the ability to keep like my easy pass or whatever else Set of up in it, yeah. Yeah, totally. Let's try it out. Ready? So the nice part about this is this top plate will obviously be removable. So you could really just put the bottom plate in. Oh, you mean to like, if someone wanted to reconfigure their mounts and stuff, yeah. you just take off the top plate and then, yeah. yeah, you don't have to do the full uninstall. I think I might raise it up a little bit. Uh, just a little bit higher than where it is now. Interesting. And I think I might take a row of these slots out and give some more room here. Alright, so this has been a successful test fit of the GM dash mount prototype. Uh, this was our first prototype, so naturally going to iterate on this a little bit. Uh, hopefully get a few more prototypes in before we send this off to production. Like I said earlier in the video, we're going to be doing a dash mount for the 13.4 inch screen as well. Uh, that's got a little bit more to tie into when it comes to structure, so that'll be a little bit easier on me when it comes to mounting it, hopefully. And that's kind of where we're at on the GM dash mount production. Look forward to showing you some more. Stick around, we'll see you soon. All right, so that is all we've got for you this week. If you have questions or feedback, we'd love to see it in the comments. We're always looking for those. Uh, next week, we're gonna say goodbye to our summer intern, Max Rhodes, and we're gonna take a look at some of what we're doing with packout mounts. You've seen our packout mounts on our bedside racks and elsewhere. Uh, we're also working on some other packout parts. Check it out on Monday. You're like one of those monkeys. <laughs>